All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are well. I certainly am. Had a good day yesterday. You're in the tart correctly. We're looking at my MCM Comic Con London haul or goodies or things that I bought, things that I spent my money on. Yeah, I didn't get massive amounts though, but I got some bits. And I'm going to share them with you now. I got some cool knickknacks and, and stuff like that. And we got, we, we got some very cool pulls from the Pokemon cards. We, we No, we didn't. We didn't. There's no Pokemon cards. I've also just given a fact that I'm I'm filming this after I film the video. I've I've filmed all of it. I fi I'm filming the, the intro at the end. It just it made sense to me. It made sense. I, yeah, I had the camera set up and stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna cut to future me, who has set up a desk camera and is gonna show off all of these little knickknacks he's bought. Isn't that great? Isn't that great, guys? Anyway, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well and. Um, I'll see you next time. Over to uh, desk camera, Kalen. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So let's have a little look at the items we've got. The, the, the downside of having my computer on my desk now means that I've got less room to film stuff like this. But I hope this will be enough room. I've not bought anything like huge. I've not bought like some massive claymore sword. So everything should fit on camera. Uh, starting off, we have the uh, Gojo Funko Pop I bought. This was uh, one of the Funko shop. I think it was the, the official Funko uh store stall um it was licensed by another company if i can remember the name of the company I'll, I'll say it um but they were kind of partnered together um but yeah there was saying a bunch of funkos um obviously i wanted to get one that i could remember the event by so having cosplayers gojo i thought you know what let's get a gojo funko pop i remember this when it came out actually i was kind of um it's kind of sad I missed out on it. I just I just wasn't quick enough. I completely forgot about the drop. Um, but yeah, I managed to pick this up. It wasn't too expensive. It was one of the more pricier um, Jujutsu Kaisen ones, but it, it, it definitely wasn't the most expensive. I think the most expensive was a Sukuna one. Um, or actually, it might have been the other Gojo one, I think. Um, I'm not too sure. But either way, yeah, they had most of the other figures there. I think the only one they didn't have was this Megami. I couldn't see, but there were some other ones, some Funko... Uh, store exclusives but yeah great figure he's doing the hollow purple attack uh, they did have one with him doing red uh, and i know well, well actually i don't know i i'm not sure if there's one where he's doing the blue attack but um i'm not so sure but anyway that was that was the first purchase in fact that was the last purchase we made of the day um next up was a purchase from the bandai namco uh store themselves these were oh god Queued half an hour to get a Super Saiyan 4 Goku figure just for them to be out of stock. So I had to go away with something. This was the other figure that I was after. Um, I've got a few Dragon Ball figures up in my cupboard. I'll, I'll attach an image of that now. But um, yeah, there's two figures uh, that I only want. Uh, a Super Saiyan Blue Vegito and a Super Saiyan 4 Goku. The Super Saiyan 4 Goku is the one I was ideally after. But um, I managed to pick up the Vegito, so I thought, you know what, why not, let's grab it. Um, cool figure, cool pose. Um, band Presto figure, I believe. Maybe not, maybe not. Yeah, Band Presto. Um, they always make good figures. Um, but yeah, straight from the Bandai Namco uh, stall. The thing is, right, that what I didn't quite get, I mean, maybe it was just because other stalls were selling other brands other stalls were very expensive when it came to these figures i picked this up for 30 which is standard for these figures um yeah usually around 30 but there were some other stalls selling them for like a hefty price and i was like geez because I, I looked at another stall that was selling a, a vegeto blue one or was it a super saiyan vegeto one of the two and they wanted it 50 pound and i'm like no i'm not i'm not paying 50 pound for the for the figure that i could have just got cheaper at this stall so anyway pick this up i'm going to quickly unbox it and um i'll show you guys on camera uh, i tend not to un un unbox the funkers at least certain ones i usually take them out of the packet but for that gojo since it's in the plastic case i'm just going to keep it in there but this one's definitely getting open so i'll be back with you guys in just a sec okay that is one thing that never changes about how these are wrapped they always use really crap sellotape to seal it in like it's not the sellotape you can just peel off in one go. You have to take about 40 different peels. Um, of course, yeah, they, they bag the figure up um, into different sections. How is this wrapped? Okay, that's not too bad. We can, we can, uh, there we go. That's, look at, look how easy that is. Look how simple. I don't even need a pair of scissors. Is there a... There we go, there we go. Get his legs out, free his legs. 
Wait, have I opened the wrong... No, I'm in the right section. There we go. Got his legs out. Now we just need his head. Oh, that didn't sound good. I think I might have just broken his legs completely. Oh, jeez. Oh, well. Well, oh, my. There we are. There we are. There we are. Man. I, 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 I'm probably the only person who's ever made that look difficult. Right, there's your base plate. You know, for, this is probably the the most simple one I've ever put together. Sometimes there's little different parts and stuff like that and stands. But this guy, it's fairly easy. Um, am I putting in the wrong bit? Yeah. Right. Hold up a sec, that don't... Am I stupid? No, it just needs a bit of a stretch. There we go, right. We finally got there. You know, it is a solid figure. I'll be honest, I'll be honest. Not sure I'm a massive fan of the chrome hair. Now I'm seeing it in person. But the figure itself is pretty solid. Vegeta's obviously my favourite Dragon Ball character. Um, yeah, let me just give those a proper push in. Yeah, Vegeta's my favourite Dragon Ball character. Um... You know, he's, he's just a solid dude. He's basically just broken. Uh, except all the Gogeta fans will probably be moaning in the comments that I didn't pick him. Yeah, no, he'll look great on the shelf next to Super Saiyan Vegito, for sure. Uh, Super Saiyan Vegito's got the spirit sword up there. That's a cool figure, I must admit. But yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, I'd definitely to do a Vegito figure with him doing the final Kamehameha. Because that would be, like, a sick figure. It'd be very expensive, I'm sure, though. I can imagine that being a, a, a nearly 100 quid. Because the amount of detail they're putting into the uh, Kamehameha or the Kamehameha wave or, you know, whatever you want to call it. So, next up, I got a few side bits. Um, first thing I got was just this kind of uh, loose Pokemon card. It was a Paldean student card. It was £2. I just thought, you know, why not? Um, it was one of the cards I'm missing from the set. So, I just thought, yeah, I'll pick it up. It's, it's really cheap. Um, it is just a cheap card in general, to be honest. Um, next thing I picked up, I got some stickers. I'm just going to put out one. Um, one of the stickers I got, uh, Yuji Itadori. I just thought I'd stick on my laptop. Um, there are some really cool artists there. I've got a few more sticker pouches, um, but I'd kind of be here for a while just filtering for all of them. But yeah, this is this is one of my favourites. Couldn't find a Gojo sticker though. I really wanted a Gojo sticker to kind of go in the outfit that day. But yeah, I'll probably stick this on my laptop. Um, cool artwork. Yeah, really nice. Um, did a few gacha ponds. Uh, my friend did a few. I did a few. Got one for a friend, and then my favourite was this one that I got. Isn't he cute? It's a, it's a Snorlax just chilling on a beanbag. I mean, look at this fella. He's wonderful, man. Yeah, basically, there was this stall with some really high-tech gacha ponds. Um, I mean, to be fair, I didn't even get the whole fun of it because the machine broke and the guy had to help me out, and then it finally worked. But yeah, um, it was basically just a... Uh, I think it was a sleeping Pokemon-themed one. And then, yeah, we did a few gachapons. Uh, there was this awesome high-tech one um, that I got this little dude from. Yeah, we went to a stall. They had... I don't know if they were fully licensed ones, but it was it was a Pokemon gachapon machine, which we couldn't find anywhere else across the entire Comic-Con. So I saw this and I was like, yeah, I've got to do this. But, um, yeah, there were, there were all these Pokemon that were sleeping on beanbags and stuff like that. I said to myself, I don't want the Meowth. I think it was... I don't know if it was just the ones they hadn't displayed, because I'm sure Snorlax wasn't displayed on the machine. And I got a Snorlax, which I think is an awesome one to get. It's probably the best one to get. But they had Charmander, I think a few of the other starters. There was Pikachu, obviously, Munchlax. And then there was Meowth, which I didn't want Meowth. I wanted a Pokemon that at least... I mean, not that there's anything wrong with Meowth, but I wanted a Pokemon that at least kind of liked, I guess, to put it in the nicest way. But yeah, we I got this guy, so he's going to chill on my desk. He's probably going to sit over at the back here so you'll probably see him in future videos maybe but yeah i'm gonna keep him up there i'm, I'm probably gonna move him off camera now because i've got a few more bits but you might see him in a few future videos just chilling there and the last thing i bought or the last major thing i bought was a pokemon atb i haven't got an atb in a while now i've been buying most of the promos single uh, this was being sold for a great price and i just thought you know what why not i haven't opened some pokemon cards in a while haven't opened the Stellar Crown one. In fact, I've barely opened any Stellar Crown packs. So I just thought, you know what? For the price, I'll pick it up. And um, we'll see what we get. So I'm going to open that now. We're going to finish the video by opening this. See what we get from some of the packs. And uh, hopefully we get some good pulls. That'd be great for the video. Okay, got it opened. Uh, apologies for the light in this video, by the way. If there is 
bad lighting, uh, the, 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 the guide, the guidebook. Have a little flick for the guidebook. No one reads, no one reads, no one wants to read. No, I, I, I like those guidebooks. That, guidebooks, player's guide. Well, yeah, it's the exact same word. Um, yeah, apologies if the lighting's a little bit on this video. It is such a dark day. There is, genuinely, I, I don't think it's been this dark in a while. It's just grey outside. So trying to get the lighting right for today's video, random pack, has been hell. So I've got about 14 different lights on trying to get good light. Um, you've got your sleeves. Apparently they've changed the sleeves. I'm not going to open to investigate, but they're not matte anymore, which is the best thing. I hated the matte sleeves. They looked absolutely horrendous. I just much preferred the clear plastic. And apparently they've gone back to the clear plastic. So hopefully they stay that way. Um, other bits you've got. Oh, oh, there's the promo. Oh, apparently they put the promo in with the deck dividers now. That's uh, that's not bad. I quite, I quite like that. It means your promo doesn't get bent when you open out the pack here. Oh, well, I quite like that. That's a good improvement. Uh, other bits, you get the same old stuff. You know what? You know this. You all know, come on, man. You know this. We've done about 14 of these on the channel. We've done about hundreds of these. And um, and then you get some energies, which they, they, at least they've got some... Like, new. Everything is new in this ETB. Everything is new. But yeah, some new energies. Um, yeah, Stellar Crown, I'll be honest, I, I literally know nothing about this set. I, 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 I just... I can't even remember what cards are in it. There's a Rabu, there's a Lapras. Um, Rabu, no, Cinderace. That's the one I mean. I had my... <laughs> I opened six packs and I somehow pulled an Altart Galvantula, so I just kind of gave up. I got an Altart and I called it a day. Um, let's see what we get from these then. So, ideally... I mean, what else? Um, what else would I be after? I guess the um, oh, that's um, that's oh, look at the crimping on that. Hold up a sec. Let's let's put that down. Look at the crimping on that card, where it's been pressed with it. Oh, that would be awesome. Imagine I got a sick. That'd be an error card. That's I really like that. I'm probably gonna. Oh yeah, not often you get that. Not often you get that. Right then. Um, one to the. F oh, I fucked it up. I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. Yeah, I'm, I'm, what I, what I, well, that's, that's sick. That's, that's, that's a pretty cool card. I mean, the, the best part about these cards is you get a, um, a very nice border on them. The, the, the terror cards, not the terror cards, the stellar cards. I need to get used to saying that. Um, yeah, the stellar cards have this kind of rainbow border that goes around. Um, well, that's sick. I didn't mean to mess up the card trick, but I'm bloody happy with that. Yeah, because the, 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 Full Art Galvantula, not the Full Art, the Alt Art. I'm getting all my words. You see, it's, it's been a while since I've opened up Pokemon cards. The Alt Art Galvantula had the Rainbow Border, and it looks absolutely stunning. Like, it looks so good. Um, I'm going to drop that to the side. In fact, I need to find some sleeves. I'll be back in just a sec when I find some sleeves. Okay, here we are, all sleeved up. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, I've switched recently what sleeves I use. I switched to uh, this brand here. They just they, they, they came in better quality, um, better quality sleeves. I used to be an Ultra Pro user, but there was a few times where I ordered some sleeves and they just came already creased. You can't use a creased sleeve on a card. Um, so I just, I've switched to these guys, such better quality as well. Um, so I'm probably not going to switch back to Ultra Pro to us. Even some of their top loaders that I bought have come like bent um, in packaging. I'm just like, I'm not paying for that. Right then, next pack. So that was a, a pretty good start. Let's Let's try not to mess up this time. Um, yeah, I think I've done it right. Okay, still energy. We have a Duraludon, a Joltic, Turtonator, Toad School, Marowak. We got a Toad Scrawl again. Is that is that meant? To, oh, we not. No, we got a Toad School and then a Crawl. We got Kofu. We got Ledian. We got Veluza, and we got this Noctowl, which is basically just the promo we got earlier. Same card, different art. Let's go. Bit of Noctowl for you. Cinderace pack here. We did pull a Cinderace. We did pull a Cinderace earlier. Maybe we'll get another bit of luck here. But yeah, uh, the, uh, the Stellar Full Art. I'm well happy with that. Right, Grass Energy. We got Milsery. We got Mario. We got Rhyhorn. We got Ponyta Chillin. We got Mianshao. I always forget it's a Pokemon. And um, we got Ockerberry. We got Coridon. That's a nice bit of art. Coridon's one of my favorite Pokemon. If you guys didn't know, um, Fletchling. We got Lacey. Oh my god. No, I've not done that. Come on. 
Oh my god, how have I... How have I done that then? Hold up a sec. Lacey, just get over there, you silly prat. Wait, that doesn't make... Hold up a sec. I don't quite get that. That doesn't make sense. We've got a Fletching and a Lacey. That's, that's meant to be our two reverses. How did I get an... Did they stick an extra card in or something? I'm very confused. Well, hold up. So one, two, three, four. Wait, hold up. Let's let's backtrack because I think I got given extra cards there. You're meant to get eleven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got given twelve in a pack. That's well, that's well, that's wow. Oh my god, that's good luck. Well, I've already got the Galvantula, but I've never pulled a double alt art before. I've never... Well, that's something. Hold on, let me get these sleeved up. I need to kind of process that. Gre well, I mean, Greninja is my favorite Pokemon. Well, I say Greninja, Krylon and Greninja joint. I'm, I'm yapping now. Let me, let me just, yeah, let me get these sleeved up. Okay, just to kind of prove it. Here's my one from before. This is the one I pulled uh, the day that the packs came out. And that's the one I pulled just now. I mean, that is godly luck. But an, an error pack is pretty... Maybe this is an error box. Imagine this is an error box and I just get given everything. I mean, too fair, I didn't even choose the box. The guy picked out for me. That guy must be like the lucky Don. Um, we've got a Fido. We've got a... Ch I'm still... I've never pulled a double alt art before. So I'm going to have to trade that away. If not, I'll just sell it, I suppose. But I always like to do trades because at least I can choose what I'm getting in return. A Caracosta. Not as cool as the last pack, though. 12 cards in a pack. I've never had that before. That's very strange. Yeah, usually I see all these people on like social media being like, oh, we pulled an air pack or we pulled a god pack. And I'm like, oh, I pulled nothing. I pulled Nish. Um, Applin, we got Fletchlin. We got Phalynx. We got Talonflame. Area Zero Underdeath. Crabominable. Nenshaw. We got Grimmsnarl. Oh my god. No, oh my god, man. What do you mean I'm getting another stellar card? Can I get some normal cards? I've never had this much luck on a bloody ETB before. Where was this luck when I opened my other ETBs on the channel? Do you remember every single time we've opened an ETB, I pulled absolutely niche? Do you guys remember that? Remember when I pulled absolute niche? And here I am pulling three of the big stellar cards from the set. I mean, that's ridiculous. A Lapras EX. If I pull another alt art, I think I'll jump out my window. i actually do it and I'll film it. And the thing is, you know what annoys me? Is I have nine packs in this ETB. All the other ETBs I've opened on the channel have been Pokemon Center ones, which mean I get an extra card. And I find that annoying, that I'm somehow doing better from an ETB that has less packs. Driftblim. We got this fella. We got Eevee. Unbelievable. And the and the Rabu. I never, I, I never pull. I never pull this well. What's going you know, I'm not even gonna sleeve that up. I'm just gonna test the next pack. Because this is crazy. I've not had this luck before. And I've somehow ripped the plastic off of the front. How is that possible? How did I do that? I need that oh, come on. I dare you, I dare you to give me another water. Sorry, I just had to that. I had to quickly sweep. I just had to I had to, I had to spread the cards out. I had to spread them across my wrist there unbelievable i mean the, the reboot is a pretty good card I'm, I'm not going to complain at all it's a illustration where i do like collecting these wonderful artworks as always but the reboot it's definitely one of the better ones from the set i think kicking a snowball very nice card absolutely wonderful another hit okay into the second to last pack I mean, I've been pretty blown away, to be honest. I think any ETB that you pull an alt art out of is, um, is a worthwhile ETB. So I'm definitely not going to complain today. Uh, Rabu, we've got a Mo Roton, we've got an Eevee, we've got a Riolu, we've got a Zumaril, we've got a Reshiram, we've got a Luminion, we've got a Mien Shao, we've got a Maril, and on the end, an Iron Boulder, which I think was the only hollow I pulled. Um, from those packs I opened originally. So I'm kind of bored of seeing that guy, even though I've not seen him for a while. Energy over to the side. Can we get one more pull? Imagine if we got one more. Toad School, Milsery, 
Mask, Maril, Men Shao, Gravity Gemstone, Elder Gross. We got a Mien Fu. We got a Chin Chu. And on the end, a Raging Bolt. Look, you can't win them all. Can't win them all. That's unbelievable today. Let's just have a little, let's just have a recap. Just have a quick recap of what we've been through. I mean, we started off this video with Gojo, Satoru and Vegito, and now we're on to Pokemon cards. It's been a real, real ride for you guys today. We've got the Rabu, of course. We've got the Lapras EX, which is definitely a card I was after. The Galvantula Altar, along with the Greninja in the same pack. Unbelievable. And then to finish off, that Cinderace that I didn't even, didn't even bother checking. I just kind of whipped him out unwillingly whipped him out cinderace brilliant what an awesome card well tell you what guys thank you for joining me today i'm probably gonna go sit and celebrate i'm gonna have a little gleeful giggle to myself yeah i don't know how i managed that that's uh that's some odds there yeah i don't know how i did that at all but anyway yeah that's that's um well I'm chuffed with that. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me today. Um, I did have a wonderful time at, at Comic-Con. It was brilliant. This video will be coming up on Sunday. And the Comic-Con video is coming out tomorrow, the Monday. Uh, Comic-Con will have been over by the time the video comes out. But um, yeah, stick around. Have a watch of that. Uh, you can see me and my friend George kind of bumbling around in our costumes. Um, we had a wonderful time. But yeah, uh, picked up all these kind of goodies. And um yeah, nice little, nice little memory for it all. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for joining today, guys. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.